What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time, he did some stuff. And here we are, visiting with Charlotte again, see how she's doing. Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. Uh. But the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Yeah, you do. Look, you gotta uh, hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snap off the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. What rat is she talking? I got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. <laughs> I say thank you but I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up would you join me for a meal it's the least I can do I has a huge karma boost I need karma at this point in the game I come in if you want me to. Work in here. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's it's good and hot. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <coughs> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> there's just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. <laughs> then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself 
picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make a little nap right here. Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. Odd. <laughs> this is the next mission I get to see tuberculosis. That's random. I ain't a mission. It's a stranger mission. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. I mean, you're gonna offer me money? They're gonna complain about free money. I wonder where she is then. Okay. Is she anywhere near me or is this where it's at right now? It's where it's at right now. All right, we have Micah and Van Horn. We have Reverend Swan at the camp. So let's go visit Reverend Swan. We're going to a Reverend Swan mission. And who knows how long. I'll see you guys later. You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Oh, come on. I want someone to help me. New York? We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What? What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. 
try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. You're so anti everything. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to go this. Let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Wait, we're Surely attacking Van Horn? This be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Okay, this is the most sane Dutch I think I've seen in a while. It's still insane, but still sane. Plus insane. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think. For a second, the Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. And we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers, my yeah, I, need to talk to the... I have a plan. Pictures of the old West. You just have to trust me. I have eagle claws. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, I don't want to drive. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Decent size boat. Please, you know, boat. Good luck.
try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Try not to kill anybody? What's the objective then? I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Oh! No, not again. I had a snip of a good hand all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. Okay, how the heck? I'm in. Crazy. We can go higher than that. What the hell? Chip, we got a problem here. Let's take him backwards. Oh my god. Take him backwards. Oh. Logic. You don't know how it works, just blow it up. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. 
I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? We could arrange for. Yes. Would you? Sure, why not? Sure. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behaviors. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Dang, we have a lot of old times. We have so many. Mike is right there. Lady is in St. Denis? I have to go to the Indian. But, but, wow. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll be right back. I have probably spent probably a total hour trying You're to catch this thing. Oh, here's the hardest part. It's getting him out. Gonna play that shooter like five times ago. Where the freaking muskie is? He's right there. Done here. I'll see you guys next.